what's happening guys today we are going to make some low resistance high quality uh, banana plug test cables to go from different things like the Elenco signal generator um, the benchtop power supply to multimeters and things like that so the cable that I'm going to be using to do this today is this BN TechGo highly efficient super flexible silicon wire this is 14 gauge and I've got them we're gonna make two of them they are cut I'm trying to measure this yeah These are a little over two feet about two and a half feet long and let's measure the resistance of this wire okay so we got the meter here on resistance mode it's showing open loop bang them together we're good to go so let's take one of the pieces of the wire and we will put the probe in each end of it like this and you can see we're getting three tenths of an ohm, two tenths of an ohm resistance. So these are very low resistance wires and will make us some good cables. So we're going to strip them about a quarter of an inch off of each end. And I will tin these. Alright, now because these are some heavy duty 14 gauge wire they are going to take a little bit more heat than we normally use so I've got my iron set higher normally I have it at about 360 C it is at 450 C right now I'm going to put a little bit of solder on my iron for thermal transfer and we'll apply the heat There you go. Now the other one. And they're tinned. So I'm going to do that for the other ones and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have our tinned wire and we have our banana plug ready. Gonna tighten that on there like that for now. Get the solder ready. A little bit of solder on here for thermal transfer. We're gonna heat this guy up. Now we'll just let that cool for a couple seconds. Should be able to remove the screw. Ah, it's still pretty warm. Yep, there we go remove the screw and we can bring the uh, plug cover down over it And all we have to do now is replace the screw. Put 
which of course just slipped. Hold on. All right, there we go. Screw is started. So now we have both mechanical fastening and a solder fasten. Let me do the other ones and we'll be back and check them out. All right, the cables are all done. As you can see, I've got a plug, this is one cable plugged into the meter here. And if we go to the ohms range, look at that. Seriously, very, very low resistance. Let's try another one. See what we get. Look at that. About a tenth of an ohm. So that is working out excellently, just as I wanted. Now, somebody may say, well, why do I want these or why do I need these? Well, it's always good to have high quality test cables in the lab. And these kind are especially good because you can plug one into another for parallel connections. Let me show you. All right, so I've got my two multimeters here. This is a Centec P98674, and over here is a Unity UT801. And up above where you can't see is my bench power supply. So there's the negative from my bench power supply to the negative of that multimeter. And then I will plug one of these cables in there like that to the negative of the Centec. Then we will do the positive from the bench power supply to the bench meter. And again, connect them up like that. Like so. We'll put these guys both on voltage mode. Make sure everything is copacetic here. 20 volts auto ranging. And turn on the bench power supply. And there you go. We're getting a parallel reading from both of the meters which is very very nice. Now we can also do the same thing with an amperage reading except they need to be wired in series. So let me set that up and we'll take a look at it next. Alright so I've got them wired in series along with this little bulb here which is a 12 volt car bulb should draw about a half an amp power it up and roll up and there you guys can see we're getting uh, 0.433 amps on either one so high quality low resistance four millimeter banana plug cables excellent choice no matter how you use them um, I'll put links down below to the parts I used to make them. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Peace.